Hello everyone, welcome to episode 22 of my Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. In the last episode, we caught the Lake Trio, as Elf, uh, Unxie, and Miss Spirit. And in today's episode, we're starting in Celestic Town because I want to go ahead and try and complete the Sinnoh decks. All I need is two more, which I can do right here in town. So first we head over to Cynthia's grandmother's house. And then we should just talk to her. Well, hello. You look well. I did some research on my own since that spot of trouble last time. Mountain Cornet acting up had me very concerned too. Well, this is what I found in the shrine. A book. It's quite old. See for yourself. And... For Brilliant Diamond, she'll show you Palkia, but for Shining Pearl, it'll be Dialga. This is how you get the number 150 in your decks. It reads Palkia, the Pokemon that binds the spatial dimensions. It seems that there were two Pokemon in ancient Sinnoh. They respectively stood as symbols of time and spatial dimensions. And that's pretty much all. And for our last Pokemon that we need in our decks, we actually have in our party currently. Remember the egg we got from Iron Island? This is the last Pokemon we need. And all we really need to do is just run around with it until it hatches which I'll go ahead and do that here and there we go many steps later we finally hatched our egg that we got from Riley there we go we got us a Riolu and I think this is the only way to get one um, what should we call him? Uh, Riolu, the emanation Pokemon. The aura that emits from its body intensifies to alert others of its afraid or sadness. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and call him Lou for short for now. Uh, but yeah, we got a Riolu now. He is our 150th Pokemon that we've seen in Sinnoh. Um, so yeah, with Riolu being hatched, now we have officially seen all 150 Sinnoh Pokemon. And we've only caught 65 of them. Uh, from this point, now we're gonna go visit the professor. Okay, here we are at Sand Gym Town. And we're just going to go ahead and walk right into his house. I'm sure he won't mind. Professor! Ah, Shadow. You've come to show me your progress on the Pokedex? Yep. Hmm, so you've seen 150 Pokemon. Bravo! You've recorded all the Pokemon of the Sinnoh. with my studies on Pokemon Evolution. And there we go, we got the cutscene. Greetings, Professor Rowan. It's been a very long time. I'll tell you, Sinnoh certainly is a long trip from Kanto. Of course, if it means meeting new Pokemon, there's no distance too great for the likes of us to travel. Oh, if it isn't my old colleague, Professor Oak. The one and only, the original. I should have expected as much from the Pokemon world's authority on Pokemon. We always used to joke 
where there are Pokemon, you'll find Oak. It's good to see that hasn't changed one bit. Uh, Professor Oak, let me introduce you to my young assistant. This youngster has filled every page of the Sinnoh Pokedex for me. You are welcome. Ah, well, very glad to meet you. As you've heard, my name is Oak. I've been hearing a great deal about you from Professor Rowan lately. He's been exturbant and praise about a fantastic young trainer. I see that you live up to... No, that you've surpassed his praise. You've also got an impeccable sense of timing. You see, I heard I had an errand to run for Professor Rowan on my visit here. He asked me to bring the data for the National Pokedex. So since you're here, let me upgrade your Pokedex with the National Mode. After all, there's many kinds of Pokemon in this world of ours. Uh, yeah, there's like over 850 of them. I'm afraid it won't be easy to complete the national decks. However, I'm sure you will make an honest attempt on our behalf. Have no fear, Shadow will get the job done. By the way, Professor Oak, what compelled you to visit this region? Ah, yes, I've heard that Romanus Park is now open. If I remember correctly, it's at the end of Route 221. Romanus Park has a special system that attracts every imaginable kind of Pokemon from every region. I've come to make certain that system is operating properly. Shadow, you should make an effort to visit Romanus Park too. Oops, I'll be late for my meeting if I don't get going. Okay, it was a pleasure seeing the both of you. Bye now. Uh, yeah. I'm actually going to head there pretty soon. Off he goes, busy as ever. Now, Shadow, I have a gift here as a reward for you completing the Sinnoh Dex. Um, a Poke Radar? I think I know what that does. That's the Pokemon Radar, or Poke Radar for short. Use it and it will indicate grass patches where Pokemon are lurking. Hey, prepare that to help my field assistants put together the Sinnoh Pokedex, but you took care of that. I'm sure it'll be useful for your goal of filling the National Dex. Well, now that we got that, um, I also learned that if I hold the... Oh. There's a hole in the ground. And up comes a gym leader. Hi there. It's been a while. When I heard that you defeated the Elite Four and entered the Hall of Fame, I rushed straight here to congratulate you. I mean it. Great job. All of the other gym leaders are really happy for you too. But you know, we gym leaders aren't going to take this lying down. Losing to you was rough on all of us, yet we still have our pride as Sinnoh's eight gym leaders. Now, we're all determined to beat you this time. So if you don't mind, could you give us all another chance? With a Pokemon battle? I mean, I never turn down a battle. We'll each be waiting for you at our own gyms. You know where to find me, Orberg Gym. Uh, into the ground he goes. Um, so yeah, I guess we can re-challenge the gym leaders. Uh, there's Dawn, but we don't need to talk to her right now. Uh, so yeah. He mentioned Romanus Park on 221. That's actually just right down here at the end of it. Um, it looks like the berry quest went away. I should probably go check on him. Okay, so now that we're here in Snow Point, uh, I believe we can talk to him. What is it? Do you want to sail to the battle zone? Of course. Aye aye, then. Let's set sail. Onward. On another boat trip.
Ah, there's Barry. Oh hey Shadow, what took you so long? I'm finding you a hundred million. Ah, he's funny that he thinks he could get that from us. Listen up, I'm going to become the greatest trainer ever. That's why I'm here, to toughen up myself and my Pokemon. Uh, okay. Hee hee hee, sorry, I couldn't help overhearing that. But the greatest trainer ever, that's going to be really tough because you're talking about me. To prove it, I'm going to the volcano right now. You look puzzled. You really don't know anything, do you? Alright, I'll tell you this. This is the battle zone, okay? At its far end is a volcano, and deep inside that volcano, there's supposed to be a treasure. So, what's the big deal? If I find the treasure first, that'll make me the greatest trainer ever? Then that's what I'll do. Shadow and you too. Stranger, that treasure is mine. But before that, I'm going to the battle tower. See ya! Well, there goes Barry. That guy can't stay put, can he? Nope. Anyways, howdy, I'm Buck. If that punk thinks he can beat me, he's got another thing coming. So, do you know that zippity dippity trainer? You should chase after the guy and tell him not to underestimate the volcano. Oh, but you know what? You better shape up at the battle tower first. I don't like your chances of getting to the volcano otherwise. Be seeing you. Ah, so that's the legendary buck. Uh, so... Usually right here would be blocked off, but since we got the national decks, we can walk through freely, and this guy... Nuh-uh. Nothing's as super duper as a super rod, wouldn't you agree? Yes. Uh-huh, super duper minds, think alike. Take this super rod, uh-huh. Uh, so yeah, this is how you get a super rod. I'm gonna use it to catch the best Pokemon we can. Or best water type, Sharpedo. But it looks like we got a lot around here. Whenever I travel somewhere new, I get excited over what I might discover. But the places I visited before, even those can throw me with new discoveries. Uh, that's good. So we got a little town here. Uh, I guess I'll go find the battle resort? Uh, battle park ahead, where trainers train. Um, I could go to the survival area. Oh, it looks like this is the way to the battle tower. Uh, welcome to the battle park. It's your first time, isn't it? Please step this way. Uh, okay. Since it's your first visit, you'll be given a point card. Point cards are used only in the battle park. Here you go. Okay, it looks like they're currency. If you need information on the Pokecard, please ask the receptionist next to me. I'm the one to ask if you need any information on facilities here at Battle Park. For information on battle rules at the battle park, please ask the reception across from me. Good luck! Um, we don't need information. Let's go in blind. Kinda. I remember this used to be the Battle Resort. And, uh, Pokemon Platinum? Uh, Exchange Service. I guess let's keep going. Oh. Why are you running into me? Uh, what the? Whoops, sorry about that. I was in a rush. Uh, oh wait a second, aren't you... You're Shadow from Twinleaf. Wow, that brings back memories. Do I know you? So if you're here, he can't be far behind. This should be fun. See you! Um, oh. Everyone's running into me. What the? Oh hey Shadow, you came to the Battle Tower too, huh? I decided to see how I measure up before going to start mountain. But that guy you were just talking to, nah, it's alright. I got here on my own power, it won't take long before I see him. See ya Shadow, I'm gonna toughen up here. 
Are they father and son? They both ran into me. I guess I'll chase them. Um, I guess, yeah. Um, I wonder if I could run into them here. I don't see them. Uh, but I do know to talk to this guy. Hmm, you look like something of an expert. I bet you're just longing to know everything there is about Pokemon, right? Yes, I can tell just by looking at you. Well, you're in luck. I'd like to give you a present that will let you see straight through a Pokemon's innate strengths. It's called the Judge Function. After selecting a Pokemon in the box with plus or minus to see its potential, with this you'll truly be an expert. Uh, so what do you think? Uh, I guess I have it now. Uh, that's my map. So the judge function, as he said. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, it looks like I have to judge him here. It pretty much shows how good or bad their stats are. Um... It looks like my team's pretty decent. Uh, Natsu's got a few good ones, which is why... I guess he did really good this series. His speed is fantastic. HP and attack and special attack are pretty good. Uh, yeah, I guess for competitive play, I should actually take a look at these. Uh, Riolu has best speed. That's actually really good. I think best is the highest it can go. Under it being fantastic as second best. Anywho's, let's go ahead and challenge this place, um, here. Welcome to the Battle Tower. I'm your guide to single and double battle rooms. Which one would you like? Uh, I'll battle in the single battles. And how many can I take? Uh, I'll take my main team. I'll go Natsu. I will go Natsu, Echo, and Cotton. Uh, it looks like I can only take three. Uh, sure, we can save the game and head right in there. Uh, I wonder how we'll do. This is our first attempt at the Battle Tower. Uh, so challenge one. Oh, it looks like there's multiple rooms. Or is it just the one room? Hey rookie, bring it on! Uh, okay. I noticed that for the battle tower, it's just like the resort where it brings your Pokemon to level 50. And he has a Shedinja. Um, that's actually a really good Pokemon. It has only one HP, but only super effective moves work on him. I think that's how its Wonder Guard ability works. Uh, so yeah, that wasn't too bad. I thought he'd give me more trouble. Uh, Bidoof though. Um, sorry. I have something for that too. I wonder how many rounds there'll be for each battle. Uh, his third one's a Snowfur. Uh, I kind of feel bad for him. Because Natsu kind of just countered his whole team with just fighting and fire. Oh no, the Snover survived. I should have went fire. Um, that didn't hurt as bad as I thought. 
If it was Star, though, that would hurt. Uh, anywho's, that's his three Pokemon. Bleh, you're just a rookie. I'm the champion, what do you mean? Who's next? Your Pokemon will be restored. Thank you, thank you. I wonder how tough they'll go. Uh, yeah, let's keep battling. Okay, so I just looked up some info on the battle tower and apparently how it works is every room is like a set of seven and on the 21st match there's like a boss we can fight so i won't be showing every battle Actually, I think after this battle, I will be skipping to that point. Because if I also lose, the streak resets to zero. Okay, so we finally beaten 20 matches and the Tower Tycoon has sent word that he is impressed with us. And he recognizes our skill and he'd like to challenge us to a battle. And yeah, I guess after every 20 battles, you'd be able to fight the Tower Tycoon. And in our case, it's this man. Hi, my name's Palmer. I remember you from when you were in Twin Leaf Shadow. You were always playing with my son, Barry, right? I called it. You've grown up since then and most impressively too. So I'd like you to show me. Show me the bond you've built with your Pokemon. Show me the skill you've acquired as a trainer. Indeed Palmer, let's do this. I do admit these fights actually do get harder as you go on. He's leading with that? That's, um... That's kind of scary. I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna close combat. Oh no, it survived. Um... Oh no. This is not good. Um, if I can put him to sleep, I might have a chance. Oh no, it avoided that. Um, this superior is kind of scary. Um, okay, so from here, let's go ahead and Dragon Pulse. He kind of took out Natsu earlier than I thought. And we took out his Rhyperior, so that's pretty good. Uh... This is not good. Wait, this is good. If I can put him to sleep... Okay, I think we've lost this one. I wasn't prepared to fight a Dragon Knight. Uh, let's go Cross Poison here. Oh no. Let's try that again. Uh, 
Unfortunately, we lost. What a magnificent bout that was. Do come visit again. Aw oh, man, we lost. I was not expecting him to have a team that big. Or that difficult. So, unfortunately, I do not really have a team ready to take on the Battle Tower. We did lose to Palmer, but I will retry him again later. Whenever I get my official team set up. So yeah, I think that'll be all for this episode. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It'll help me grow and continue to make more content like this. And until next time. Bye!